Hello. What's up guys? A quick moment of honesty. Sometimes I film videos and then I don't post them. And you know, obviously sometimes I film videos and I do post them. So I obviously am talking about a bunch of different things in all of these videos. I forget about what I have already talked about online and what I haven't talked about online because I talk about things in videos that I don't post. So then I'm like, wait, did I already talk about this with you guys or did I not talk about this because I didn't post it? I don't know. So if I already talked about this, I am sorry for beating myself. I have a really bad memory. I used to be a lot more open about my mental health online, specifically when I was like 15, 16. Um, I was very open about my depression and anxiety and all these different things that I was struggling with back then. And I recently, within the last couple months, went and took those videos down and privated them because one, I felt like I was oversharing, and two, I used to get a lot of backlash on those types of videos, which you know is totally expected being on the internet, and a lot of constructive criticism as well, which you know, it's valid, it totally makes sense. And I think it was constructive criticism more about the way that, not even what I was saying, like talking about my mental health and depression, it was more how I was saying it. I don't know, I think I was just trying to be a little bit too edgy to that Dan Howell influence was just a little bit too much back then for me. So with that being said, I'm specifically thinking about a video that I made just about a year ago was like the last time I really talked about my mental health. It was when quarantine first started. It was like sometime in April. I was also going through a breakup. I have not talked about this since this time. So I don't know, feeling weird. I was going through a breakup with my boyfriend who I eventually got back together with. Not even relevant, don't need to talk about that. That is just like the, you know, quarantine plus on top of a breakup plus already, you know, like struggling mentally. I was just really not doing well. So I talked about it in a video and I just got a lot of very negative reactions. I obviously got a lot of positive ones too and a lot of support, which means so much. But back then I just felt so much more fragile when it came to what people say on the internet. I just have like these comments like burn into my brain, just completely like invalidating my whole, you know, just kind of everything that I was talking about. Then I grew some balls and I'm a lot better about how I go about things on the internet and just, you know, the way I talk about things and go about things. I know back in April, it was a very hard time for everyone because everyone was struggling and everyone was in lockdown. I, I'm just really different now. I feel like I'm ready to kind of put my foot back in that door of talking about my experience with mental health and everything. To be quite candid with you, I, one, have a really hard time being candid on the internet now because of all of that, and two, I have been really struggling recently. I mean, like, I have been struggling for like, years now on and off. Once winter hits, seasonal depression is very common, but this winter specifically has just hit me harder than I think I feel like I have like ever really been hit. I have been super busy with work recently, which is like amazing. But with being super busy, I have literally not had time to like really take care of myself. Exhibit A. So I just wanted to kind of take you guys along this journey of like the next two days of me just like, you know, doing some fun things for myself and just kind of talking about, you know, my things that I have been dealing with and the way that I have been trying to cope and everything. I don't know. I just wants to have some fun. And to be quite honest, I am bored with the way I look. So the first thing I'm doing today is bleaching my eyebrows. I have been debating on doing this for a really long time and I feel like I am finally like, yes, I wanna do that. I have an appointment at 1.30 to go and get my eyebrows bleached. My friend Kaya is coming with me to help me film. <sighs> Thanks girl. And we'll just kind of see where we go from there. This is gonna be like a two day process because I have a video to finish today. So I can't like spend all day just like doing stuff for myself. See ya. Huge shout out and thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today. I believe they were one of the first brands to ever really sponsor me. I need to clean this up a little. I have this whole little routine that I'm going to be using. I'm starting off with using my cleanser, which is just like a micellar gel. It's really nice because they're all vegan, cruelty-free, customized, literally just for me. I've been using all of these products for about two months now. I'm obviously a teenager, so my skin is never going to be perfect, but it has been looking really good, which is nice. I started off by taking a really short quiz talking about my skin type, my goals, and just literally everything about my skin and all of my different preferences when it comes to skincare. My skin goals were to hydrate, reduce breakouts, and smooth. I'm gonna use this serum next. This packaging is also so cute. Okay, so you twist it, and this little button comes out right here. You press it, and then pull it out, and now your little thing is full of serum. This paper is cool because it tells you about different ingredients that are in your skincare that are going to help you match 
or meet your goals. I just have been loving this perfect little routine. It's so simple to use in the morning. My serum has now dried, so I'm going to apply some moisturizer. So if you guys want to go check out Function Beauty and get one of these serums for 20% off, go click the link down below. Uh, you can also get a free little selfie headband. Go click the link down below and continuing with the rest of the vid. I need to stop singing like everything I say. Let's go. Chiming in with a voiceover because there was music playing at the salon, so I can't leave any of the audio in, and I also wanted to explain this process to you. So here she is putting the bleach on my eyebrows. I know it looks really strange because this is not regular hair bleach. This bleach is specifically made for eyebrows, so the consistency is just a little bit different. But we did this three different times. She told me they probably wouldn't get as light as I wanted them to be, and I was totally fine with that. She was like, yeah, we'll probably have to do two sessions. Um, but here we are toning them, and then this is like what they looked like. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit better a little bit later but then we did my eyelashes and i thought it looked funny <laughs> mom mom where is my <laughs> mom 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 hi hi <laughs> looks good i like it do you yeah you notice a difference <laughs> yeah <laughs> I got all or the of arrow chocolate. the Maybe the chocolate. coffee one was good. What right. do you want me to do with this? Just dry it Just, a little bit. Yeah, dry it. Oh hi! <laughs> I thought you were pointing at a tab. You look like hi you the got YouTubers. In a fight with the bear. Oh right that here. Scar. <laughs> this is you know what this is from people. A fight with a laying sea out bear. too much when I was young and I used Crisco to lay out. So word to the wise, use sunscreen, stay out of the sun so you don't get skin cancer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't do it. I hope you wear sunscreen when you go out. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair and my hair color. So I just wanted to tell you that I made a video about it a couple months ago, but it's not titled. It's like me getting a haircut. So you wouldn't really think that there's like all this information about the different products and stuff I use to get my hair this color. So I will leave that link down below if you guys want to go check that out. I talk about all the different stuff that me and my mom use. My mom is a licensed hairdresser, so she can get stuff from like a beauty supply, you know, that you have to have a license to purchase stuff from. But just if you wanted to know that info, I will leave that video linked down below. Good evening. Good morning, actually. I am sweating so much and I don't know why. I am not gonna lie, I love my eyebrows. I think it's really cool. But if I don't like them in like a week or I just get sick of them, like I can just, I literally can just go and dye them back. So I'm not too stressed about them. The first thing I'm gonna do this morning is get ready. My mom did such a good job on my hair. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I haven't gotten ready in a really long time. I used to be really bad at taking care of myself physically when I was like a freshman. That was just a really rough time for me. And literally everyone else. Like who didn't have like a bad freshman year? I was so bad at taking care of myself both physically and mentally. And I feel like I've done a really good job at kind of just getting better at taking care of myself physically. It's so hard. Like I have had so many days where it's so hard for me to literally get up and brush my teeth, to get up and shower, just do kind of like the bare minimum. Honestly, I think just growing up and you know, just getting older, I have just kind of developed better habits of taking care of myself physically. And I almost kind of see it as not an option to not really take care of myself physically anymore and I'm working on being that way mentally so if you are in the spot or have ever been in the spot that I was when I was a little freshman and struggled to literally do the bare minimum it's okay I know it's so hard even though it seems like such simple things and people who don't struggle with that just really don't understand but just know that you are not the only person that has experienced that and I hope time heals you like it uh, has helped me I really do think though taking care of yourself physically is definitely easier than taking care of yourself mentally. I feel like a very common misconception about getting better mentally is that it's just like, it can just be like two or three easy steps, you know, like go to a doctor, go to therapy, get on meds. Although those things definitely do help, it's not the solution because you can have all of those things, but it still takes so much work from your brain and your heart and your soul. This is just, you know, for me specifically, but rewire the way that you think and trying to be nicer to yourself and kinder to yourself is not easy. And trying to see the world in a lighter way when you have seen it is such like a dark place for a really long time. But I think right now I am kind of in the process of looking for those ways that help me and heal me 
Um, I have started a new medication. I haven't been on it for that long, so I'm really hoping that it goes well. I got a new doctor also who's a woman, which I love, love women. So I'm hoping that all turns out well. I also feel like a lot of people think that it's just really easy to either get like go to therapy or get on medication. And it's not because both of those things can be so scary. Everyone has their different reasons. And I have to be proud of myself because taking that step of like going to a doctor and getting on medication was something that was hard for me. I am trying to start therapy back up. I know I have mentioned this, I feel like a million times Times, but my old therapist retired and I really really liked her and that was about a year ago now And I was feeling really scared to start therapy again because of how much I loved my last therapist and how I felt like I would never like Find anyone as good as her a couple days ago I had a zoom call with a new therapist and it was just like one of those really quick like introductory things She said that it would be like one to two months until I could actually like get an appointment because of how many people are like Trying to get in right now and the wait list is so long. So I'll keep you guys updated. I am loving this look I'm not gonna lie Another thing that's really hard about mental health is that the only way that you're going to get better is if you want to You know someone can try and force you to do all these things to help you get better But you're not going to unless you really take the steps and put in the work to literally better your brain and your soul. I feel like it's kind of like exercising in a way that you need to find the right exercise that you like. You know, if you're trying to work out and exercise and you are just running on a treadmill and you hate running, you're not going to enjoy it. But say you do like yoga or like hot Pilates or something and you like it, then you're going to enjoy working out. And I feel like that's similar to mental health in the way that you have to find the things that work for you. That's obviously one of the hardest parts is finding what works for you. And I still feel like I haven't really found what works for me yet, but I don't know, you know, it's a lifelong journey of trying things and trying new things and trying other things and to end this little makeup get ready with me section. Another thing I have realized is that it's not worth it to not try. It's not worth it to not try and get better. I'm gonna go take hot sexy photos of myself. Does anyone else get really emotional when they're tired? I'm literally fine. Everything is just making me so emotional because I'm tired. I'm gonna walk to the mall and get some food because I haven't been to the grocery store in a while and I don't wanna go. I just wanna say that I love my eyebrows. Like, I know they're definitely not everyone's taste, but I love them. I hope you guys can see me. My camera's literally so far away right now. Um, these are from Stotts Ballet. These boots, I love, but they hurt my feet so bad. So I like, they're literally, what size are these? I feel like these are like a whole entire size too small. Damn, I'm kinda hot. I genuinely feel like my life is just consumed with work and things that have to do with like social media. And then I hang out with friends, which is obviously good, you know? But then it doesn't really, really leave much room for me to like do things and learn things on my own. I just don't know why. I just have, I mean, is that? If you guys have any fun hobbies that you guys like to do, comment them down below because I need things to do to fill up my time so I don't just sit and think. I talked about this on my Instagram, but I need your guys' opinion too, obviously. This is my closet. It's bad, I know. Thoughts on like a whole closet reorganizing video, um, selling a bunch of my clothes because a lot of this is just old stuff that I don't wear, including a lot of these sneakers that I would sell on Depop to you guys pretty much. I've done a few videos like that before where I like clean out my closet, but this is like different now because I have like a whole room and I want to like decorate it and make it really cute. And it's just like a mess right now. Like that's like the least developed room of my apartment because it's just like bad in there so if you guys want to see that let me know let me know that was the end of this random little vlog i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys get inspired to do whatever you can to help better yourself just like i'm doing because i know it's so hard i know it's a long process like this is something that i'm going to like be dealing with and working on for literally like the rest of my life i love you guys bye Kisses. Walk, keep on walking straight, straight to the hell we